long ago, in a land called Kemet, where the Nile River flowed and the pyramids rose, there lived a very special being named Kenum. Kenum was not like other beings, for he had the power to create anything he wanted with his hands and a touch of magic. He was also very curious and loved to explore the wonders of the world. Kanum had two parents who were always with him. One was Noon, the dark and deep ocean that covered everything before there was land or sky. Noon was calm and quiet, but also mysterious and powerful. Noon gave Kanum the water he needed to make his creations. The other was Amun-Ra, the bright and shining sun that lit up the sky and warmed the earth. Amun-Ra was cheerful and lively, but also wise and generous. Amun-Ra gave Kunum the light he needed to see his creations. Kunum was happy with his friends, but he also wanted to share his gifts with others. He decided to make something new and wonderful, something that would reflect his own spirit and the spirit of his friends. He took some water from Noon and some light from Amun-Ra and mixed them together with some clay and sand. He added a pinch of magic and a drop of his own essence and called this a mixture chemosine. Chemosine is very similar to the amino acid tyrosine. Kunum shaped the chemosine into different forms, some big and some small, some round and some flat, some smooth and some rough. He was amazed by the variety and beauty of his creations, but he noticed something else. The chemosine had a special quality that he had never seen before. It had a color that was darker than Noon's ocean and richer than Amun-Ra's sun. It had a glow that was softer than Noon's moon and warmer than Amun-Ra's fire. It had a life that was more than water and light. Kanum named this color Kem-Ur, which means the perfect black. Kem-Ur is also called melanin. Kanum was proud of his Kem-Ur and he wanted to protect it and nurture it. He made special places for it to live, where it could grow and change and be happy. He called these places Kemazomes, which means the temples of Kem. They are a macrocosm of melanosomes that house melanin. Kanum put some of his Kem ore in the Kemasomes and left some outside to see what would happen. Kanum was surprised by what he saw. The Kem ore that was in the Kemasomes stayed the same, but the Kem ore that was outside changed. It changed according to the environment it was in, the things it touched, and the feelings it had. It changed its state, its color, and its frequency. Kunum learned that there were many kinds of Kem Ur, each with its own name and purpose. There was Yu Kem, which was the purest and most perfect Kem Ur. It was perfectly black, and it had the highest frequency. It was the Kem Ur of the spirit and it connected Kanum to his friends Noon and Amun-Ra. There was Fio Kem, which was a lower and less perfect Kem Ur. It varied from red to yellow, and it had a lower frequency. It was the Kem Ur of the body, and it gave Kanum energy and health. There was Neuro Kem, which was a different and special Kem Ur. It was transparent, and it had a medium frequency. It was the Kem Ur of the mind, and it gave Kunum intelligence and creativity. There was Alokem, which was a green and friendly Kem Ur. It was the Kem Ur of the plants, and it gave Kanum food and oxygen. There was Pio Kem, which was a blue and helpful Kem Ur. It was the Kem Ur of the bacteria, and it gave Kanum protection and balance. All of these represent eumelanin, pheomelanin, neuromelanin, alomelanin and pyomelanin, respectively. Kanum was fascinated by the diversity and harmony of his Kem Ur, but he also wanted to make something more. He wanted to make something that would have all the kinds of Kem Ur, and that would be able to create, like him. He decided to make a new kind of being, one that would be his child and his friend. He took some of his Kem Ur, and some of his Kemosine, and some of his magic, and he made a human being. Kanum was overjoyed by his human being, and he gave him a special gift. He gave him a first eye, which was a window to his soul, and a link to his creator. The first eye was the source of chemosinase, a cosmic enzyme that activated the production of chemsium, a magical substance that strengthened and fortified the bones of the human being. Chemosinase has many of the traits of tyrosinase, 
and chemsium is a cosmic version of calcium. The first eye also allowed the human being to see the chem ur in himself and in everything else, and to use it for good. Kanum named his human being Kamsi, which means visionary. He taught him everything he knew, and he loved him as his own son. He also made more human beings, some male and some female, and he gave them all the first eye and the chem ur. He told them to live in harmony with each other and with nature, and to use their gifts wisely and kindly. Kunum was happy with his human beings, and he watched them grow and learn and create. He saw them build pyramids and temples, write books and poems, make art and music, discover science and math, and explore the world and the stars. He was proud of them, and he hoped they would always remember their cosmic origins and their divine destiny. So, as you read this story, let the magic of Kunum, Noon, and Amun Ra fill your heart and mind. Let the Kem Ur, the perfect black, shine in your skin and soul. Let the Kemozines and Kemchim, the cosmic alchemy, strengthen your bones and spirit. And let the first eye, the mystical eye, guide you to your true self and your true purpose.